Hello and welcome, I'm Roy Lewis Photographer and I hope you've been enjoying my videos and today we're going to be looking at my top 10 backdrops for portrait photography. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoy today's video. I'm also offering mentorship and online workshops if you're interested in learning more. Those of you who follow my work see me using collapsible backdrops for the majority of my photo shoots. Working in the UK, Europe and the United States, collapsible backdrops are a quick and easy solution. They take seconds to set up and pack away, meaning they are equally convenient to pop open in offices, clients' homes, hotel rooms, conference rooms, and gyms. In particular, I favor Lasterlite collapsible backdrops. Lasterlite gives me a convenient choice of many different vintage style backdrops which complement my work. Lasterlite backdrops fold and unfold like a giant reflector. They are easy to carry on public transport, which is a blessing for myself as I don't drive. The majority of my sittings take place in London, Los Angeles and New York. As a passenger on the underground and in taxi cabs, they are easy to stow in a large suitcase. As well as single-sided backdrops, Lasterlite also offer reversible backdrops, giving you more options. The backdrops I use most frequently are the black and white, white and light grey, and urban collapsible backdrops such as smoke concrete and tobacco and olive. I also utilise the dyed muslin backdrops. So let's begin my list of my top 10 favourite backdrops and to begin with we're going to start with black. I love shooting on black so much and it makes my life very easy. The black is especially handy for when I want a completely dark background that has no light or reflection. Most of the locations I shoot in are not ideal. Using a studio for me is a luxury. Visiting celebrities, many of them may want you to come to their homes or in particular a hotel or somewhere convenient to them. In many of these locations, there is little or too much daylight and I can't block it out. I find that cloth backdrops absorb the light from strobe far better than seamless backdrop paper, which in my experience seems to catch the light too much. Creating my Renaissance style portraits, black truly brings out the chiaroscuro and it is truly my favourite backdrop. Many photographers don't like black for headshots or portraits, but this is my style. Black is my quintessential go-to backdrop. Now to my number two, and it's got to be the Lasterlite Tobacco and Olive Reversible Backdrop. This backdrop is great for portraits, fashion and even product photography. It's versatile and a reversible backdrop that provides a very fashionable, timeless and hand-painted look. This backdrop complements any subject and it's no surprise that it's very rarely in stock. This backdrop is two great backdrops in one. Tobacco on one side and olive on the other side. The tobacco service gives brown and ochre tones with a small hint of green, whilst the olive deepens the greens with an extra hint of ochre. Now on to number three, which for me is smoke concrete. Shooting a great deal of actors' headshots, smoke concrete is one of my go-to backdrops for actors. The backdrop enables you to create stylish images without leaving the comfort of your own studio. So why leave your studio in search of a concrete wall when you can simply bring in a backdrop that will do the job for you? Again, this backdrop is reversible and allows you to switch between smoke and concrete. Smoke offers a vignette effect and a range of grey hues and soft, subtle green colours, whereas concrete provides a more fluent grey hue. Both backdrops breathe an urban and timelessly vintage feel. And now on to number four, which is grey. Grey is a great backdrop if you're looking to shoot corporate or fashion portraits. Now, what you need to remember is that last light backdrops are reversible. This means you can buy black with a reversible grey, 
or you can buy grey with reversible white or you can buy black with reversible white. So you have multiple options just from one simple backdrop. If you're looking to shoot low-key style photography then the grey is a great go-to backdrop. Now on to number five and we're looking very simply at white which is an easy backdrop for those corporate headshots, student portraits, anything that you're doing that you don't want too much in the background, just a simple plain white blank canvas. When I find myself photographing a very interesting face, I'll go to the white backdrop as it puts all the emphasis on them with very few distractions. Now to number six, which is red. The backdrop I prefer to capture those royal portrait sittings. Red offers that symbolism of fire and blood. That is the red coats, the British military a uniform associated with energy, war, danger and the strength of royal power. It's a great backdrop to use if you want to capture those vivid and stark military style portraits. Now on to number seven and we're moving into Laster Light's industrial style backdrops. The urban collapsible painted white and industrial grey brick features a distinct monochrome brick design with dramatic tones, heavy contrast and subtle vignetting which is ideal for creating a dark and theatrical background. The reverse features a complementary painted white brick design with lighter and cleaner feeling. The grey presents us with a more urban and dark background. Again, shooting actors headshots, this is one of my go-to backdrops. Now on to my final three backdrops, which hail from Laster Light's new vintage backdrop range. So, on to number eight, which is Laster Light's Aubergine and Crimson. The Aubergine side of this reversible backdrop features a rich textured design with bold colours suggested of imperial royalty and tones of amethyst with a strong and dramatic vignette. My preferred side is that of the crimson, in which I captured a portrait of my wife Alexandra. The crimson features a highly textured effect with warm tones of red and black, suggested of power, rubies and red embers. Now on to number nine, which is walnut and pewter. Walnut and pewter is ideal again for those portraits or actors headshots. The walnut features a rustic textured surface with dramatic warm tones evocative of coffee and antique wood with heavy contrast and subtle vignette. The pewter on the other hand features a dramatic mottled textured surface with tones of grey and black suggested of charcoal and onyx. And just to reiterate, these backdrops are all reversible, giving you multiple options to create amazing and stark portraiture. And now we're here are my top 10 backdrops, and here we go with number 10. Ink and Sage is again a double-sided backdrop which features a hand-painted textured surface. Ink boasts a deep light blue tone set off by a dramatic vignette suggesting a palette of colours such as new denim or deep water. Sage, on the other hand, is complementary of earthly green with a weathered textured design. These two backdrops are ideal for capturing those fashion and beauty portraits and I'm looking forward to using them more when we come out of lockdown. Whether you're in a studio, a client's home, or on location, these backdrops become ever so important. In conclusion, I couldn't imagine going back to the days of carrying rolls of seamless backdrop paper around or hunting for a suitable location or trying to pray for good weather. It's also worth mentioning if you're planning on investing in a Laster Light backdrop system, then make sure that you pick up the Magnetic Backdrop Support Kit. The kit enables photographers to quickly and easily attach any collapsible backdrop with a steel rim to a traditional lighting stand. The backdrop can be attached to the support at a comfortable height. It is also quick and easy to switch backgrounds, simply pull one off and snap another on. So there you have it, my top 10 go-to backdrops for portrait photography. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget there is links below to all these backdrops and more. Again, don't forget to subscribe for further content and click that like button. I also enjoy reading your comments. Thanks again for watching.